On March 27, 1915, the woman history has come to know as Typhoid Mary was placed into involuntary quarantine for the rest of her life. It seems long before the coronavirus scare of 2020, humans have been dealing with rampant diseases, plagues, epidemics, and pandemics throughout history. One of the most notorious cases concerned a deadly disease, typhoid fever, and a woman known as Typhoid Mary. Mary Mallon was born in Ireland and moved to the U.S. at age 15. She moved from job to job, mostly working as a cook, and everywhere she worked, people would get sick and sometimes die. In 1906, one of the families sickened with typhoid fever hired a private investigator who discovered the common factor in several typhoid outbreaks. That factor was Mary. Now that Mary was identified, she was asked to provide medical samples for testing, but would not cooperate. In 1907, a squad of police officers arrested Mary and took her to jail. Medical samples were forcibly taken, and doctors found her gallbladder to be overrun with salmonella bacteria of the type that causes typhoid. Mary told investigators that as a cook, she rarely washed her hands as she thought it served no purpose. She also insisted that she was not infected with the disease and refused to give up working as a cook. Now called Typhoid Mary, Mary was taken to North Brother Island, New York and held in quarantine for three years. In 1910, after signing a pledge to avoid working as a cook and to engage in rigorous sanitary practices, Mary was released back into society. That, as they say, was a mistake. Mary changed her name and soon went back to work as a cook, and the illnesses started again. For the next five years, Mary went from job to job, and it was hard for investigators to track her down. After causing a typhoid epidemic at a New York hospital she was cooking for, police were hot on her trail and finally caught up with her on Long Island. Mary was arrested and taken back to North Brother Island, where she was held in quarantine for the rest of her life. Being somewhat famous, Mary was visited by reporters, but only under stringent standards of hygiene. In 1932, Mary suffered paralysis from a stroke and died at age 69 in 1938. An autopsy confirmed her gallbladder was still infested with the typhoid salmonella bacteria. Not surprisingly, her body was cremated. Along with the dozens or scores of people sickened by contact with Mary, at least three positively died from her proximity. There may well have been over 50 deaths because of her stubborn insistence that she could not possibly be the cause of spreading the deadly disease and her refusal to maintain proper hygiene. Researchers have since found other cases of people carrying the typhoid germs inside them without themselves getting any symptoms of illness, but spreading the disease to others. The reason you see all those employees must wash hands before returning to work signs in the bathrooms of restaurants and other businesses is to prevent exactly this sort of disease spreading. As a question for my students and subscribers, do you know of any cases where a specific person spread a disease or illness? Please let us know in the comments section below this video. Because this video is intended only as a brief introduction to Typhoid Mary, I recommend also watching Biographics' video about her for some more in-depth coverage of her life. You can find that video in a playlist hosted on my channel of what I consider to be some of the best videos on YouTube concerning diseases and pandemics in history. To learn about other notable women in history, I additionally encourage you to watch the Project Her Story playlist hosted on Mr. Beat's channel and the Timeline of Women's History playlist on my channel. If you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines 
and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated.